hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we will be talking about flux ip adapter which was released in a while now for flux development model but today i will try this ip adapter using the goof model which are known to be fast due to their low resource consumption so today i will show you how you can make it work in both flux and the forge web ui and I will guide you through the installation step. So first of all, you need to install some additional nodes, starting with the Xflux Comfy UI. You can find this link under my description. Just enter the GitHub page, copy the code. Then, as always, go to Comfy UI root folder, search for custom nodes. Then here on the search bar, type in CMD. Now I will type git clone and paste my code here. And it will start installing the Xflux Comfy UI. The second notes that you're gonna need is the goof model loader. To install it, you can watch my previous video about the goof model, or you can follow my steps here. Just do the same thing. You can use this link, just copy it, go to Comfy UI, custom notes, under the CMD again, and do the same thing by tapping git clone and paste your code here. Once it is installed, you need to install the requirements, but we are gonna do it with a special way. Here when you scroll down through the link, you can find this second code. Just copy the Python until the requirement text. Then go to ConfUI Windows Portable, Python Embedded. And here type in CMD. Now just paste this code and it will install automatically all the necessary requirement without having issue. Good, now that we have installed the necessary nodes, we need to download the IP adapter model and the clip vision. To do that, you can use this link, the Hagen Files link. Just go to File and download this Flux IP adapter that safe tensor. It is not a large file compared to the previous one, but once it is downloaded, go to Comfy UI root folder under Model, then search for Xlab. Here you can find this uh, file called IP adapter. Just paste your file here. Now we need to install one last thing, it's the clip vision for text encoder that was necessary for IP adapter. You can use this link here, then when you open up the file section, you can see different file, just focus on this model.safe tensor. It is weighted 1.7 GB. Once you have it, go to model, search for clip vision, and paste it here. I also rename it clip goof in order to find it more easily. Okay, now we have everything. You can just start your comfy UI and use my workflow. Okay, now I will talk to you about my workflow and give you a quick overview. Here you can see that all the installed nodes starting with the flux load flux IP adapter and apply flux IP adapter which are dedicated to IP adapter models. Here we have our load image, that which is going to be our reference image. You need to upscale it to 1024 by 1024 in order to prepare it for the Flux IP adapter. Here I have this apply Flux IP adapter where I can vary the strength. By default, you can find a very high strength of 0 0.9. You can vary this uh, value in order to obtain different results. Then you need to, uh, to add the unit loader GUF in order to load your GUF model. I personally prefer working with this Q4KS version, which is the fastest for Comfy UI. The next note is the load flux IB adapter. Here you can find the downloaded model. Just select it and the clip vision. Make sure to select this clip vision GOF. For the provider, you can choose other GPU or CPU in order to load your model. Then this model here is plugged directly into Xlab sampler. And here you need to pay attention to the steps needed for the IP adapter. For 1024 resolution, you need at minimum 25 steps but the default version was equal to 15 and right now you don't need to pay attention to the other parameters here we have our empty latent image and then our clip text encoder i also added a dual clip loader which you're gonna need the t5xxl and the clip l safe tensor this notes is gonna be plugged into the clip text flux encoder and here you can type in everything you want for your final image after that this image is gonna be decoded using this VAE 
it is the flux first VAE but you can use different VAE and see the results that you can get and the image will be finally saved okay on the second part of this tutorial I will show you how you can use IP adapter using Forge Web UI the main reason why I worked with Forge Web UI because it is more faster compared to Comfy UI and I directly use the flux development model for this IP adapter which can give you more uh, impressive results and to make it work you just need to enter your Forge Web UI fo root folder go to Web UI then enter model here you can found all the necessary model for your Forge Web UI go to control net and paste your flux IP adapter model that we downloaded earlier for now this this is all you need for Forge Web UI then open up your Web UI go to image to image and here we can start working firstly make sure to select the flux development model fb8 then we're gonna add our vae decode our clip text encoders and that's it here we have our gpu weight that you can vary according to your needs but right now i'm gonna leave it uh, i'm gonna work with the default value and here you can add your your reference image i will try to add one for example i will choose this one then make sure to add your sampling steps here i made i selected the 27 steps but you can start working with minimum 24 steps you adjust your resolution to 1024 by 1024 and leave the rest as it is now when you scroll down a little bit you can find the control net uh, section just click to enable and select ip adapter here when you select the IP adapter, here you can find the flux model that we downloaded for IP adapter. Then make sure to select your clip vision. Uh, on this tutorial, I worked with this clip with, with H for IP adapter. And here you have your weight control. As default, it is selected to one, but you can change it according to your needs. For now, I'm gonna leave it as it is. I will jump to the denoising strength, which is the main key parameters for this IP adapter. For good results, I saw that a value between 0 0.8, 0 0.7 and 0 0.58 work perfectly fine. So for the prompt, I type in here an image of a woman holding a sign with a text to scribe. I'm gonna click generate and see the results. And here I have my first results using this IP adapter. You can clearly see that the woman is smiling. We have the good text here, but the color and all the surrounding environment looks quietly closer to the reference image that we included. Good. And here I will share with you my results using this IP adapter flux. You can clearly see the reference image and the results of IP adapter. And for all selected images, the color is matching and the environment too. You can clearly see the style transfer using this IP adapter flux model. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to watch my other video. Thank you.